Hey there friends, it's Dominique from the Pixie Planner. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a little bit about how I do my goal setting and most importantly, how I make my goals intentional. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of planning my goals out 12 weeks at a time. And I also like to base them on improvement of mind, body, and soul or heart, as well as focusing on one project. What I have here in front of you is a spreadsheet that I created, so that way I could go ahead and put this in the back of my new planner that I am going to be setting up. That video is going to be coming next week, and I am going to be putting this in my back page. That way I have a reminder with me at all times on what I am trying to achieve and also keeping me on track for what I need to make sure I'm doing for each week. Now before I get further into my goals and how I set it up, I want to let you know that there is a link down below in the description box. I wanted to make sure that you guys had the ability to create your own goal page here and it's an editable link and it's something that I hope you all will benefit from and enjoy using. So take a look down below in the description box for it. Now the way I have mine set up here, let me zoom you in a little bit too and that way you kind of have a better view. So I have here at the top my goals. I have four goals that I am going to be focusing on and first goal is going to be a project, second is body, third is soul or heart, fourth is mind. So my project, I want to make sure that I'm one month ahead with my video content. For my body, I want to be able to do a headstand without wall support. For my heart, I want to have bi-monthly donation to my local animal shelter. For my mind, I want to read three self-improvement books. Now, I like to ask myself, you know, first starting off, what am I wanting to achieve? Then I come down here and I have, why am I wanting to achieve this? I think it is extremely important to have a why behind almost everything that you do. Um, otherwise, it's meaningless. So for my first goal, my why is to open up more free time to spend with my husband, my family, and for fun. The second goal is to progress my practice in yoga and gain strength and balance. For my third goal, the donations are to help the shelter supply food, medication, and care to the animals. Fourth goal for my mind is to continue with my personal growth and gain control over my anxiety. I talk about that a lot in my videos. I deal with anxiety and I have been reading lots of fantastic books and learning about new techniques and how to manage it. So I want to continue that on. So after I have my goals here at the top, I go into my action plan. So I set it up here. There's four boxes for the four goals. And in the editable program, you'll be able to add more if you like. But I think four goals is a nice balance. It's not overkill. It's not going to be overwhelming. So that's what I decided to keep for myself. So I have broken down here my first goal, my projects, all of the action items that I need to make sure that I do. And that is going to be here due in whatever week that is. So I have, you know, research how to create content calendar. That's week one. I want to have that done. Printing the content calendars week one. I want to make sure I have that done and set up in a binder. Then I have my content planning for the next month. I'm going to do that in week one, week six, week 10 and batch filming videos, batch editing videos, and uploading on Sunday. So I have here the week that I want to complete each of these action items in, so that way I'm staying on track. Then we move on to goal two, which is my body. For my headstand, I want to try and watch YouTube and Instagram videos to get a better idea of technique tips. Then I have to make sure that I am doing some upper body and core strengthening along with practicing regularly. And I have 
10 minutes a day, five to seven days a week. After that, we come into soul or heart. And the first thing I'm gonna start off with in week one is to create a shelter donation cash envelope. I am going to be removing 50 to $80 from each paycheck, depending on you know, what other bills I have going on during that pay period. Then finally, I wanna designate a drop off at the end of the month to the shelter. Then finally, we come into goal four, which is my mind improvement, and that is gonna be through reading three books. So I want to make sure week one, I'm making a list of what I wanna read, then requesting those books of choice, and I have week one, week five, week nine. And then of course, to make sure that I'm staying on top of it, I am going to read at least 10 to 15 minutes a day, four to five days a week. I will certainly at least get that, but I am shooting for more time spent. But it gives me a good vision of what I need to make sure I am doing week to week, and it holds me accountable as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick peek into how I set intentional 12-week goals for myself. I hope you found some motivation as well. And I'm really excited for you guys to try this spreadsheet out for yourself. Again, I'm going to be putting this in the back of my planner. That way I have it to refer to whenever necessary. And it helps to keep me accountable and keep me on track when it comes you know, week to week. That way I'm less likely to procrastinate. And a big reason why I do these 12 week goals is because you see that finish line so close because it's only three months away. I find for myself, it just keeps me motivated and excited for these goals throughout the weeks. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. I am going to be showing you next week the setup of my new undated passion planner for the academic year. And again, make sure to check out down below in the description for a link to an editable file so that way you can get started on your own 12-week plan. I appreciate you guys so very much. I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.